Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss derivatives of trigonometric functions. So, the derivative of sin x, kung kukunin natin yan, that is equal to cos x. And then, the derivative of cos x is equal to negative sin x. And the derivative of tan x is equal to squ uh, second squared x. And the derivative of cotangent x, that is negative cosecant x squared, and cosecant squared x. The derivative of second x, that is second x tan times tan x. And the derivative of cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x cotangent x. So, for example, number one, find the derivative of f of x is equal to second x plus 3 cos second x. So first, what we're going to do, okay, to get the derivative of f of x, so kukunin muna natin yung nandito. Alright. Okay, we all know that second x, the derivative is second x tan x. So that's 1 plus 3 times, ito yung cos second x natin, ito yung derivative, so ilagay natin. Since uh, negative yung sign, so ilalagay natin ng parenthesis. And after that, so, we're going to distribute 3 here. Since magkasama ito, so magiging negative 3 cos second x cotangent x. So, for ito na yung final answer natin. No? This will be the final answer. So, the derivative of our f of x ay ito na. Second x tan x minus 3 cos second x cotangent x. For example, number 2. G of x is equal to x squared sine x minus 3x cosine x plus 5 sine x. So, may x squared tayo dito and then sine x. So, tingnan na lang natin yung mga nasa taas. That's our guide para makuha yung derivative nito. So, as you can see class, yung x squared saka sine x, that is a product. No? Uh, pwede natin i-apply yung product rule. Okay, so apply, ganun din dito. Yung negative 3x cosine x, pwede na natin i-apply yung product rule and yung 5 times sine x. So, di ba, sa product rule, kung x squared times yung derivative ng sine x, so that is x squared times cosine x plus sine x, tapos yung derivative ng x squared, so derivative ng x squared ay 2x. And then this one, so, negative 3x times the, the derivative of cosine x. So, negative 3x times negative sine x. Okay, so ayusin lang natin. And then, so, derivative ng cosine x natin is negative sine x plus cosine x times the, the derivative of negative 3x. Derivative of the negative 3x is negative 3. So, as you can see, nandito na yung negative 3 natin, so times 1 should be negative 3. Plus, so yung 5 times sine x, so yung derivative ng 5, that is 0, times sine x, so automatic 0 na yun doon. And then, yung first natin, sine x times, okay, sine x times the derivative of 5, that is 0. So, pero pag ito, 5 times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. So, ito yun. And then, simplify natin. So, x squared times cosine x. So, that is x squared cosine x plus sine x times 2x, 2x sine x. So, kailangan maunayin natin yung ano natin, no? yung may constant. Okay, unahin natin. Plus, okay, so we have negative x or negative 3x times negative sine x. That is positive 3x sine x negative 3 times cosine x that is negative 3 cosine x plus 5 cosine x so meron ba tayong pwedeng pagsamahin dito yes meron itong 2x sine x saka 3x sine x ganun din yung negative 3 cosine x plus 5 cosine x so ang magiging final answer natin so copy x squared cosine x plus since ito pwede natin pagsamahin sila that is pa positive 5x sine x and ito rin pwede natin pagsamahin so negative 3 cosine x plus 5 cosine x that is positive 2 cosine x okay another example 
y is equal to sine 4x. So, pag mga ganitong given, so paano natin gagawin? Una, okay, kunin natin yung uh, derivative ng sine, and then copy lang natin yung 4x, and then after that, kunin natin, imumultiply natin sa derivative ng 4x. Okay? First, kunin yung derivative ng sine, that is cosine, then copy 4x, and then kunin natin yung derivative ng 4x, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, ano yung derivative ng 4x? That is 4. So, cosine 4x times 4. So, our final answer. So, ito hindi natin pwede i-multiply yung dalawa kasi magkas ito ay magkasama. So, hindi natin sila pwede i-multiply. So, pwede itong 4, ilagay natin sa unahan ng cosine 4x natin. So, the final answer is 4 cosine the quantity of 4x. Another example, sine, uh, sine the quantity of 3x plus 1. So, same process. So, kunin din natin yung uh, derivative ng sine natin and then, imumultiply natin sa derivative ng 3x plus 1. Okay? So, yung derivative ng sine natin is cosine and then, kunin natin yung derivative ng 3x plus 1 Ang derivative ng 3x plus 1 is 3. Okay? So, cosine, the quantity of 3x plus 1 times 3. So, again, itong 3 ay hindi pwede i-multiply dito. So, yung 3 ay ilagay natin sa unahan. So, the final answer is 3 times cosine, the quantity of 3x plus 1. Alright? So, for another example, y is equal to cosine, the quantity x squared. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, no, kung saan kinuha muna ang derivative ng cosine. So, yung derivative ng cosine natin ay negative sine. So, negative sine x squared times yung derivative ng x squared natin. So, yung derivative ng x squared natin, that is 2x. No, Imumultiply natin yung, ano natin, yung exponent natin dito. Since magiging 1 na lang ito kasi 2 minus 1 is 1, so 2x na lang yung derivative niya. So, i-multiply natin. So, negative sign, the quantity x squared times 2x. And then, so, we're going to multiply. So, itong 2x pwede natin ilagay sa unahan. So, magiging negative 2x times sign, the quantity x squared. For example, number 6, y is equal to cosine squared x. So, magkaiba sila, no? Uh, yung squared ngayon nandito sa cosine, kanina nandun sa x. So, how we're going to do this? So, first, okay, cosine squared x can be expressed ng ganito. Okay, we can express this one. So, kasi if we're going to distribute this, that is cosine squared x. And this one, since magkasama sila, di ba? So, ito pwede nating gamitan na ng power rule. Okay, so yung power rule kung saan yung exponent, multiply natin dito. So, the derivative, so 2 times cosine x. So, mula dito sa 2 times cosine x, pwede natin i-apply yung ginagawa natin dito na kung saan kunin natin yung derivative ng cosine and then uh, yung derivative ng x. So, tingnan natin. So, so to cosine x, copy 2 times cosine the quantity of x, then yung derivative ng cosine x natin. So, yung derivative ng cosine x, ito yon That is negative sine x. And then, paano natin pag sasamahin yung sagot natin? Paano natin sila i-multiply? So, yung negative sign of course, lagi dapat maging mapupunta yun sa unahan. Kasi yung positive times negative, so that will be negative 2, okay, cosine the quantity of x and sine the quantity of x. So, this will be the final answer of this. So, magkaiba sila. No? Magkaiba sila. Okay, ito kasi cosine na quantity x squared. Ito naman cosine squared x. Okay, so for another example, we have y is equal to tangent for the quantity 4x minus 1. Okay, same process. Kunin natin yung tangent na ayon derivative ng tangent, which is second squared x, and then yung derivative ng 4x minus 1. So, yung derivative ng 4x minus 1, that is 4. So, multiply lang natin. 
So, yung 4 mapupunta sa unahan. And that will be 4 seconds squared x, the quantity of 4x minus 1. So, another example, y is equal to 4x squared plus cotangent x. So, since ito, pwede itong product rule. Okay, yung 4x squared kasi 4 min multiply. Or pwede naman, you can multiply 2 times 4, that is 8. 8x. Okay, so paano gagawin? So, this is 8x plus yung derivative ng cotangent x natin, which is negative cos second squared x. So, pag samahin lang natin, so positive times negative, that will become 8x minus cos second squared x. Okay, so for another example, g of x is equal to 3x cubed cosine x minus 2x sin x plus 5 cosecant x. So, product rule ulit yung gagamitin natin kung saan si 3x cubed, imumultiply natin sa derivative ng cosine x plus cosine x multiply sa derivative na to. Ganun din dito ang gagawin natin. So, 3x cubed times yung derivative ng cosine x which is negative sine x plus cosine x times yung derivative ng 3x cubed that is 9x squared minus 2x, okay, that is 2x times sine x, that will be, uh, anong derivative ng sine x natin, that is cosine x, plus sine x, tapos derivative ng negative 2x, that is negative 2. Plus, since ito class, uh, pag kinuha natin yung 5 times yung derivative ng cos cosecant x, which is negative cosecant x cotangent x, and then cosecant x, Yung derivative ng 5 ay 0, so maka-cancel yun. So, ito na lang maiiwan. And then, simplify natin. So, wala tayong pwedeng pagsamahin eh. So, 3x cubed times negative sine x. So, that is negative 3x cubed sine x plus, okay, 9x squared cosine x minus 2x cosine x. Negative 2 sine x, ito yan. And negative 5 cosecant x cotangent x. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.